You've come so far, Survivor. This place was once a vibrant ark, filled with wondrous creatures. Before it was contaminated and compromised beyond repair. Long ago, Helena confronted her fellow explorer Rockwell here when his obsession twisted him beyond humanity and reason. Even Helena could not truly put an end to Rockwell's madness. And he survived here in the shadows all this time, feeding on poison and growing stronger. You have to finish what Helena started. If we are to save Earth, Rockwell must be stopped. If there's anything left of the person that Helena knew, Edmund would want to be stopped. Steal yourself, Survivor, for here terrors await you. Okay, scary earth shaking aside, welcome to Aberration. <gasps> Dude, I have not been here in such a long time. It is stunning. I I hope this doesn't come across as a flex, but I've actually never experienced this map in 4K before, and it looks incredible. Now, I did unfortunately miss the cinematic. Oh, good God. I did unfortunately miss the cinematic, so you can enjoy that. I decided, hey, you know, wouldn't it be fun if I tried a portal room? I know about the portal room. I am well aware of the portal room. You see, historically, I've always started my aberration maps um, in the hard areas, so on the border of the blue biome. And I, and I thought this time, hey, let's just see what it'd be like in the portal room. Maybe, maybe it won't happen to me. <laughs> That's incredible. Like, honestly, in all of my times playing this map, I've never begun portal room because I've always heard about it and I just prefer playing in harder areas as well. Um, that's incredible. I can't believe it happens this quickly, this immediately. So for those who don't know, welcome to Aberration. It is a troll of a map. Ah, that's a raptor right there. It's also unusually hot and I'm constantly dehydrating even on my leveled character. Do I have blue gems? Oh, thank you very much. Um, oh, what do you call it? Thank you very much. Uh, earthquake! <laughs> Fantastic! I see a horse! Uh, this might not go very well, but I may as well try. You never know, just in case. And E? Really? I got 0% taming? I just started. I just started, I got 0% taming. Oh no, that is it. It is just that berries are that crap. They give less than 1% per bite. Oh, do I really want to commit to this? I'm not sure I did. There's a raptor ahead. There's a freaking alpha basilisk over there. Um, you see, a horse would be amazing, but I'm not sure I'd want one this badly. Okay, just wait for one more bite quickly. I'll just see what level it is real quick. Um, come on, one more bite. You can do it, there you go. And what actually are you? You're level 55. Oh my god, a 55 and it takes that long? Nah, screw that. Okay, moving on then, moving on. You are level 30. There's a raptor over there. There's a... <laughs> can't forget the alpha basilisk. <laughs> right, so the big question is, do I stay here or do I move on? I kind of want to stay here. I want to experience what so many other poor unfortunate souls have experienced in the portal room. This is meant to be the easiest part of the entire map, and so many people got baited into that and had to experience the joy of Alpha Basilisks. And I never have. So, why not? Right? I, m I might die horribly. I will die horribly, eventually. Okay then. So I got some stone. I Do I have any wood? I, I have got a little bit of wood from the earthquake, but I need some actual wood. Smack a tree, get some wood, get some fungal wood, which is a nice substitute for wood in this map. Get a pick and a hatchet. I can also make myself a whole bunch of cloth gear as well. Now, as much as I'd like to capture that raptor over there, I have no hide and I don't have any spears to kill anything for hide. So. That'll be- oh, I'm still dehydrated. Oh my god, this water situation. Oh, this map is too hot. 
Right, let's go ahead then and get myself some... I need flint. Right, of course. I need flint. Where can I find a stone? <laughs> really be aware of the Alpha Basilisk. Oh, I wonder how long it would take until I forget it exists and I just run like face first into it. Sir, excuse me. I was harvesting that. No, I don't want to smack you by accident. Let me just get my rock in peace, please. No, don't go any closer. What, what are you doing? Are you okay? And now the mighty hunter is ready to embark upon a mission to find some hide. I could get it from either Dodo or... Ooh, I thought I aggroed for a second there. Now Raptor is walking towards me, but it's not aggroed. I do want that Raptor. Okay, now, can I find a Bulb Dog, a Lystro, a Dodo? Hey, even a sheep, because Ovis are very common on Aberration. Over there, I see a Mushroom. Yeah, I can't get the hide from a Mushroom, unfortunately. Oh, great, there's another Raptor, but still no sign of any small critters yet. I've been seeing all sorts of things, like parasols, like stegos, like trikes, all worthy choices for hide, except I can't, you know, actually kill any of them just yet. I really gotta pick and choose here. Oh, an iguanodon! Okay. Not what I had in mind. I definitely won't kill that, but that'd be really handy to tame just in general. Uh, let's see, actually, I, can't, I can't sprint. Ah, oh, like the hydration issue is real. I can't sprint. But what level are you then? You are level 40. That's not bad, all things considered. Um, do I want to track that? No, actually, I'm going to try to avoid tracking for a while. Unless it's like a really amazing thing. I won't be silly. But I'm going to try avoid tracking for just a little bit because this is my last map that I'll be experiencing from scratch. When I hit extinction, I'll be bringing things with me that time around because uh, like Aberration and Scorched Earth, I love these maps to pieces. Like, oh my God, how pretty. <gasps> Dude. In 4K, this is gorgeous. Oh my god. Yeah, I love these maps so much, and they're just the best to start on, especially Aberration, just my top tier favorite, like just ever. And then Extinction, it kind of throws a lot of resources at you, and it gets like very grindy very quickly. Well, even the beginning is grindy, so that's one I don't really want to mess about on too much. As in, I'll, I'll play it loads, but I won't handicap myself. Extinction, I just want to leap in and enjoy it. The same goes for Genesis part one and part two as well. Oh god, I got a pair of raptors. No, where's all the crit- That is a stego. <laughs> For a second, and I thought I was an Amargosaurus. I was about to be very, very confused. My god, there's raptors everywhere. I mean, I could probably melee a raptor down without a bowler, but I don't want to try it. <gasps> Must jumps. Must slowly walk my way there. What do you want? Do you want Tinto? I can do Tinto. You are level 90. You're decent. Oh, could I get a Moss Chops? That'd be amazing if I could. Go ahead and I'll just track you up. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the poor Equus. And just my luck right, I did finally find some small creatures and they are in the middle. After I walked the entire outer rim, I finally find something in the middle. You know, I, I guess I should have started with that, shouldn't I? But at least I've now finally got some hide, which means I finally have some bowlers, if I can find them. There we go, I can make uh, two of them. So I'm thinking, it might be a little bit silly, sure, but how about I try go for a bit of a hardcore run? Good old hardcore run, starting from the portal room in the uh, presence of a big old scary alpha basilisk. Seems like a totally safe and uh, logical way to progress things, doesn't it? For the bowler, I need some thatch. That is one glowing moss chops. You know what, I should be feeding a whole bunch of these as cooked crab meat. You are not getting fed, you require measure. I mean, just- oh, level 70. Just in case I don't get the first one immediately. And Bulb Dog, I will be needing you. Uh, I think it's... Aquatic, you like? Yeah, 15%, that seems about right for a Bulb Dog. Level 5. <laughs> right then, just tame any old random one I can and get some resources. Mighty Hunter is cornered, mighty prey. Die, Lystro, I need your skin. Why, thank you. Rare mushroom? Actually, I I have that. Ah, oh, thank you, aberration. Okay, well apparently the bob dog lost all of his taming immediately, so I guess I need to uh, probably just hug it. <laughs> Stay really close to it and hope it doesn't take me into the path of a big scary danger noodle. Oh no, it is giant bee honey. Uh, well that's not gonna happen, is it? Unfortunate. Meanwhile, the Bob Dog is getting a passive taming glitch where it's losing health instead of hunger, so that's also a dud. Ooh, I don't got very lucky in my tames, am I? Uh, let's see. Which way for you again? 
Raw prime fish meat? Okay, I'm not getting any of these, am I? Okay, you know what? It's fine. I don't need them because I'm going to get myself some raptors instead of whom are currently attacking a dodec. So, oh god, they turn around quickly. No! Ow! You bugger! Oh, wait, that, that was fine. Level 15. Okay. That should be a nice and fast knockout. You are not mate boosted either. Hopefully it's not very damaged from the dodec encounter. Okay, you're dead. What about you? You are also level 15. They're both level 15 males and you are... <laughs> you're also dead. I see. And they didn't even have the courtesy to drop me some arrows. How rude. Oh my god, meanwhile, that Alpha Bastard's gear is just going to town on, I think, I want to say a Moss Chops? Meanwhile, a Parasaur did just fear a bunch of raptors all over the place, which means, uh, you can see that one's fleeing right there. So, at any point, they could just turn around and attack me, so I need to be vigilant. Okay, okay, here we go. Raptor right there, come at me fam. And... The other one did not aggro. That's fine. You're level 70. Please survive. Please survive my onslaught of love. The very, uh, very aggressive to the face kind. Come on. Come on. I'm very, I'm very, very paranoid of the uh, tech raptor right behind me. Nearly there. Nearly there. You can do it. You can live. You can survive. No, you cannot survive at all. That's really unfortunate. Oh, that's an Ovis! Terrifyingly close to the... Alpha. Uh, friend. No, I would like to kill you, please. Oh, you absolute arsehole. Oh god, you absolute arsehole! The raptors are attacking a sheep! Oh god, that's my sheep! Should move you over here real quick? That should have at least fed it to level 100. Okay, so this one... Pick out a couple of bites on the sheep. It should at least be on, like, on the corpse size. This one should be on max health. I suppose what I could do actually, I want to be like really smart. I would rather use the mutton. No, okay, it's Torpor fleeing. Okay, that's fine. That's really, really is so typical. I should I should have paid attention. No! I should have paid attention. <laughs> oh my god, well at least I get myself some mutton. You know, for this uh plethora oh god! For this plethora of creatures, I'm clearly doing a great job. Ah! Taming! Please! Reload! Oh! Hit more! Top off Lee! Top off Lee! Come on! Hardcore run! Not like this! Not like it! No? Dude, it's you or me, mate. I'm- you're going down first. I believe. I believe, guys. Come on. I- I do- I do not believe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go spawn an edge four. <laughs> Let's see what's happening over here then, shall we? Uh, ooh! Luminous! Mmm, Diplo in my face. Just what I voice that is a sound. Ah! Okay. Okay. Raw rat. Pack of raptors. Scorpions. Very, very luminous terrain. Ah! Yes, very luminous terrain. I saw a dire bear, which is fantastic. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I think the, uh, <laughs> the hardcore run. <laughs> Might just be- oh come on, kill me faster! Yeah, I don't think the hardcore run is quite happening anymore. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You know what? This is fine. Edge 2. Because I know a lot of you actually haven't seen Aberration before or haven't played on it yourself. I know a lot of you are very eager to play on it on my servers. Which, as I you know, I don't really say it enough. General reminder, all patrons are welcome to join. For a second then I thought it was an Alpha Karkonos. So, yeah, so all patrons are welcome to join. $10 for the early invite, $5 for just joining as soon as I kill uh, the beta boss. And, which I plan to do at a nice and organised pace. Yes, so let's just have a bit of a run around then. Let's not start the base just yet. Let's not make progress just yet. Let's have a bit of a run around. Enjoy the scenery. In the glorious graphics of which upon my eyes are laying on. That is a... Oh, hello. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, wait. Yep, yeah, no. Yep, yeah, goodbye. Wait, no. <laughs> it looked like it was it was uh, coming for me. Oh, horse. Ah, Sarko. Ow. Sarko. And crab. Oh, get off. There we go. I can't wait to get the crabs. The crabs are going to be so good. Oh, there's a whole bunch of raptors. There's an epic spider to my right. This is the area I normally spawn in. This is my favourite place. Well, not quite my favourite place. But it's my favourite spawning area on the map. We've got dire bears. 
Lots and lots of dire bears. We've got, uh, what's that? A, a bulb dog fleeing, which is always a good sign. We've got our tyrant Stego. Turn the gamma off so we can really and truly take in the scenes. And of course we have the glorious blue biome. Oh, look at that. Oh, so pretty. So, so fantastic. Uh, oh, did not mean to fall off like that. Ah! It's okay, I survived. I got strong legs. Got another roll right down there. Uh, and a weird, that's a dung beetle, I think. Yeah, that's indeed a dung beetle. Got a pack of ravagers and an alpha pleura. Great. Dude. Oh, I'm excited. I wonder. Oh, and a, and a little anky. Can I just like, uh, I will not survive this fall at all, will I? Actually, maybe I will survive. Because I do, I do have strong legs. I got very strong legs. Wee! No. Yes. Well then. Why am I in combat? Oh god, nameless right, of course, that's a thing! <laughs> oh, that looks so creepy with that gamma! <gasps> with like their eyes glowing, like again, you know, first time seeing all this kind of uh, graphics. Oh, they look so creepy! Dude, uh, oh, and there's my favourite dino among many of my favourite operation dinos is that Megalosaur! Run! <laughs> Run! Oh god! Ow! And a rock drake! I freaking love this map. Okay, that's the map tour done. Next episode, I'll actually look into, you know, doing things after I don't lose like four failed teams. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you've got any ideas for like any challenges or like things you'd like to see me do in this. Aberration really is a fantastic map and I can't wait to play more. So you all take care of yourselves and you have a fantastic day. Cheers.